we're a veteran operative you know, that gets the veterans behind the wheel of off-road rigs, so out on the trail. No, so awesome. yours has obviously been on the trails quite a bit and all over social media, and I've really? been wanting to do a walk around on it. So um, for the ones that don't know, introduce yourself. I'm Steve Peck, and I have the Little Waspy Jeep. So what year is this? This is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator JT. Okay. And I, I it, know we've done a lot of upgrades to that. It started as a Jeep Sport, stripped down, soft top, plain, okay. nothing. Wow. So it's came a long ways. <laughs> it came a long ways. It did, the dealership couldn't sell it. It was a leftover. So they put a two and a half inch lift, 35 inch tires with 20 inch wheels and the rock rails <laughs> and so that's the way it was when i bought it straight from the dealership okay and since then i've done the actuary suspension system that'll raise from bump stops to top is 10 inches and the uh of course i don't even know what all i've done metal fenders metal fender liners <laughs> i'm 40 inch tires um, custom hood, custom bumpers. We actually cut the bed off to get the bumper custom made in the rear. Hard top, clear lids, 10 inch display inside. Got big stereo system with the sub under the seat, the whole works. Custom leather interior with the wasp emblem in the seats. Nice. Uh, Got uh, Tyree lights in the front that are stupid bright, nice yeah. lights. Heck yeah. And 10,000 pound winch, uh, custom computer. Are you still the same uh, motor transmission T case? Yep, the motor transmission and axles are the same for now. Okay. I have another set of axles that's going to go on okay. hopefully this winter. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, it, what do you think? Well, it was a uh, being the sport not even the sport s mm -hmm. it was the smallest axles they had they're still down to 44s but uh i bought a set of rubicon recon 392 axles okay and so they have heavier axle tubes heavier axle shafts lockers gotcha. i'm open differences on both ends seriously holy cow uh, I'm on 373 gears and 40 inch tall tires. So does it wheel all right? It does. <laughs> you go in low range and it'll get there. Okay, that's I, fair. I enough horsepower and enough gears. Yeah. The yeah. the eight speed automatic makes oh. makes it function. So it is an eight speed. Okay. So. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Yep, it's a lot of fun. I uh, I got connected with Duck Duck G, and the founder of that is Allison Parliament, mm -hmm. and I'm actually on staff. Heck yeah. And so that's why I've gotten to go to Easter Jeep Safari in yeah. Moab, Daytona Jeep Beach, yeah. Pennsylvania for Heritage Fest. Yep, yep. Uh, the Tennessee for the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion, which Max Astires actually put me in their booth there. Okay. I was actually on display at Tennessee at Pigeon Forge. And of course, Eureka Springs over and over again. And yep, yep and all that so but, yeah. but we do get to wheel it a little bit and i do love hauling people around and, yep, yep. and and giving back all we can absolutely absolutely so on your accuair what setup did you go with is there like i haven't looked into it a whole lot but i'm sure there's like different stages or something maybe yes yes and no i do just happen to have flyers with me okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, but they uh they're they're fairly obvious and uh, AccuAir is one of the only companies I've ever seen actually puts prices on their kits okay this particular kit was seven thousand dollars sixty nine ninety five okay that's the four inch on image yep okay and they called the four inch but like I say from bump stops to top it'll do ten inches of of flex that's awesome you can do each individual corner yeah right? any bag any corner that's anything i can i can level on a side hill i can I see some advantages to that yep <laughs> I, I go to hook onto my trailer yeah i'll drop the tail end down go under the trailer and lift it up oh 
Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> it has auto leveling on it, so it doesn't matter how big a trailer you got, it'll go right back to ride height. Heck yeah. So that's awesome. Well, so, out of curiosity, have you played with the ride height on the road to see if it changes your uh, gas mileage? I do. <laughs> uh, it will only allow you to do setting two is what they call drive height, ride height, which is the equivalent of a two and a half inch lift kit. And uh, while I'm going down the interstate on these long runs going, I'll drop it down to setting one and I'll gain about one mile down. That's impressive. So for being a brick in the wind, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yep. every little bit helps, especially on forties. <laughs> yeah, on forties and, and being a brick. Yeah, absolutely. But, Heck yeah. Well, we definitely appreciate your time and going over it. We're, we're going to do a quick walk around and get some footage of it. And we'll... Perfect, perfect. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And like I say, anytime I can help out yeah. and anybody that has any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me on social media. You can find uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Just search okay. little L-I-L Waspy. Little perfect. Waspy. Heck yeah. And we'll drop a link there then. I'm on all of them. So. Heck yeah. We'll definitely appreciate it. Well, I really appreciate it, guys. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.